hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light we are blessed we are highly favored and we are protected we're covered under the blood of the almighty and so if it's your first time welcome returning soul tribers new soul tribers thank you for your continuous love and your support I really do truly appreciate you thank you so very much so this message that I want to bring to you the first card it says people need to mind their own business people need to mind their own business believing or believing or knowing when you know you know when you know something for sure you know something for sure and i need to encourage someone that god is not through he's not done with you it doesn't matter what you're going through right now god is not through with you there is still a plan and a purpose in all of this for you and if we just watch and see how he how he works it out he's going to turn it around for you and he's going to turn it around for all of us he's going to turn it around for all of us and uh, i felt i'm led to read psalm 74 verse 10 oh god how long shall the enemy reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? O oh God, how long shall our enemies rejoice over us, your people? Shall they continue to disgrace your name forever? Forever. Because here the psalmist feels as though God has forgotten about him forgotten about his people and he's reminding god and calling him out reminding him like it is still you the mighty god you know it's it's like why are we struggling why is it that it seems as if the enemy the the hater the haters they are overcoming your people and so for a lot of us, this is how it feels right now. This is how it feels sometimes. Or maybe this is confirmation to how you have felt in the past. And he's reminding God like, you set all the borders of the earth. You made summer and winter. So it's like, what's going on? Oh, let not the oppressed return a shame. Because see, a lot of people, a lot of us who are the real chosen one, the ones, the real light workers, we are being oppressed by a lot of false and fake people around us, whether it's online in our local community or wherever. There, we have a lot of imposters around us who are behaving as if they are chosen and all they're doing is wreaking havoc on the child or children of God. And here it says people need to mind their business. And this reminds me of, and a lot of us, some of the things that we're going through, it's from the people who are within our own line of work what we do for some of us where you're working where you're doing business it's the people in the same line if you're in the in this community tarot community it's the same tarot workers who are jealous who are envious those who are not healed they are here doing the devil's work and a lot of them are imposters and they know who they are and i'm telling you God is not happy. He's not satisfied with these people. Woe unto those who are leading his sheep astray. God is not happy. 
and judgment is called on all of these false and fake people who are calling themselves high priests, high priestesses. When you do your wrongs, then you wash your hands, you barely wash your face, and you, you clean your mouth to come out as if you are innocent from the blood. You're innocent from the things that you're doing to the men and the women of God. You can take your lashes off all you want. You can take your nails off all you want. You can tie up your head all you want and look like a plain Jane. But let me tell you, you guys, you can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool everybody all the time. There are some people who are real seers. We don't have to give ourselves any name. God gives us our name. We are genuine seers. We are truth speakers, truth seekers, light workers. And we see right through your agendas and what you're doing, working against other people on this platform, all because they're not spitting the same lies that you are spitting. It's kind of like, how does it feel? How does it feel to, to hurt another person knowing that without resources, for example, when you complain on other people's channel or try to block them also, you know you need money to pay your bills. But you think it's okay for you to, I mean, I know you're, you're, you're ignorant and you're out of your ego. But if you have any ounce of common sense, what I'm saying to you, you think that what you're doing that and, and again, a lot of people, you're underestimating God, but you should look around you and you see how everything, everybody has been exposed and none of you are exempt. You are groupies, you are bullies and you are tyrants. I remember there was a time in my life, in my line of work and uh, I just left my business to run a quick errand. And on my way back, the worker called me and she said, Oh, miss, two police officers are at, my, at, at your door and they are really knocking on it heavily. So she was scared to open the door and I could hear them boom, boom, boom on the door as I was on the phone with her. And I said to her, you know what? Open the door because I know nothing is going on there because I don't want them to take my door down. So let them in. And uh, I drove as quickly and safely as I could to get there. And when I reached there, they were just like going in. And I asked them, what is it about? They said they got a complaint. They got a call that there is some form of altercation going on in my business. I said, altercation? I said, no, I just left here. Everything is fine. And as you can see, everything is fine. Whatever I'm doing, everything is peaceful. And they looked around. They questioned who they should question. They look outside all around the place, all over. And I asked them, I said, are you sure that this is the right address? And he said, yes. And he actually showed me. He showed me the report. It was some number from wherever called. And I know that these were the same people in the community, in my line of work, who were trying to intimidate me. I am not afraid. When I wrote the quote that I have been through enough to know that I am enough, I am not making it up. It is true. I have been through enough. I am here not for the same reasons as a lot of you are. Because for a lot of you, this is your feeding tree. And this is why you try to bombard and try to push people out. So you can push your karmic agendas about the toxicity. You don't want people to, to heal. You don't want people to evolve. You don't want people to grow. 
The only person who should grow it's you. And then you make up por these little potions and bottles to sell them how to rub oil on their skin and all this garbage. And you can clear, cut, cancel, and release iniquity off of their life. You cannot do anything. When you join force with people in the world to come against the men and the women of God, you are no longer aligned with the family of God. You're working for the enemy. You are working for the devil. So I know about oppression and suppression. So this is nothing new. I am here doing the will of God. It's, it's a, you know, and a lot of us, we need to have this card at the back, our guards up. Because see, a lot of people, they don't like to mind their own business. And you know what? When, when this happened, I didn't call anybody. I did not do anything extra. I prayed to God. And it's the same thing. If somebody accuses us, you know, you learn to pick your battles. You learn to choose your battles. The, when the enemy, when they come against me, what I did, I prayed. And, and if you think that somebody needs help, then you pray. But you don't dig a ditch and laughing in the background when you see somebody going through struggles. Again, how do you feel? How do you feel? Or how would you feel? Knowing that you're going to bed with tucking in your children at night. And other people have lost theirs. How does it feel when you collect your paycheck at the end of the week or the month, whenever? And somebody else can't pay their bills. How does it feel? How would you feel? How would you feel? And this is why a lot of you are going to get a dose of your own medicine. A lot of you, you played off as if you don't know each other, you don't work together, but you are bullies and you're tyrants and you're trying to scare those of us who are here doing the will and the works of God. God makes everything, everything. And the beauty and what I love about God is that like when, when, when the rain falls, it falls on the just and on the unjust. So for a lot of you, for a long time, because you see you're getting benefits, you're getting perks, nothing is happening to you. You think you're just blending, you camouflage really well. And you think that God does not see, is not seen. You're going unknown. I'm here to tell you, no, you are not. You are not. And for everybody, whether it's online, on ground, wherever, I'm calling judgment on your evil ways, your evil deeds, and the things that you're doing to oppress, to suppress, to humiliate the men and the women of God. And I, I bind up and I break up every plans of the enemy. And I return back to sender a zillion fold to all of you. All of you who are oppressing and suppressing the men and women of God. You may laugh now. But we will get the laugh, the last laugh. God has the final say. Because trouble does not last always. And believing is better than knowing. Because yes, a lot of people may say they believe in God. But do they really know God? And that's the part of it. Because see, belief kills and belief cures. Belief is wishy-washy. One minute you're hot, next minute you're cold. But when you know for sure, when you know what you know, come hell or high water, it doesn't matter what time of the day or night somebody asks you about God and your faith. It doesn't matter 
what you lose risking, you believe in God. It's not about the things of this world. And this is the thing. A lot of you are very materialistic. And this is why even if you started on the right foot, you were easily sold or bought out for money and fame. Because the offer is tempting. But when you're doing the will of God, we are not lustful. It's not about material things. It's about building the kingdom of God. We can't be bought or sold. If someone should threaten my life to say, oh, if you don't do this, then blah, 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 whatever. Do it. Do it. Because it doesn't matter. It's, it's appointed unto all of us to die. All of us going to die. Whether now or next year. I am not afraid. And the men and women of God are not afraid. And you guys want to scare people where you think it, would hurt, it will hurt them the most. But it's just like Joseph, doesn't matter what, sold into slavery, into the prisons. Not once did the Bible said he complain. He kept working. He kept serving. And this is what we do. This is what we do. So because we know who God is. And we know he will not allow our enemies to rejoice over us. A lot of you are copycats. You are doppelgangers. You, you piggyback off of what the men and women of God talk about to repost it. You're camouflage, you, you camouflage your ship, ship, I mean, we call it ship shapers. Whatever it is. You can backflip. You can one minute you're quoting. You're trying to make people believe you're imposters. You're making it seem as if the men and women of God have mental illness. When in fact you are the ones who are delusional. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I want all of you to know that you are caught. And God just wants you to know that he knows what you're doing. He knows what you are doing. And for those of us who are on this path, God is not through with you. Because whatever test you're going through, it's going to be your testimony later on. That mess you're going through, it's going to be your beautiful message. That pain is going to turn into your purpose. And your purpose is going to turn into your profit. People out here are doing too much too much and God is fed up because the, the tears of his children it's dripping at his feet his heart is broken to see the way how he's given you guys chance upon chance to change your ways and instead of you changing your ways you're, you're, you're standing your ground and you're going ten toes down in the mess that you're creating around you for others. The first scar that came out here is trickster. A lot of you are trickster spirits. You are not genuine. You're not authentic. You're manipulating others through duplicity. Again, you change up your personality. You switch up things to make people think that you're authentic when you are not. And God is not happy with the way you're abusing his people, his words. And I'm telling you, if you guys don't change, you're going to see what is going to change in your life. And, and, and some of you, you're going through it right now because you're very toxic. You've been here a long time doing this mess and you're, you're, you're old and you're stale. Men and women... You have been doing this, misleading people, tricking them, taking money, doing readings when you're, when you're not authentic, selling products that's manipulated with energies. You don't need to sell people things, oils to, to love, to call people to love you. God is love and love is natural. So that means... It's some other entities that you're conjuring 
to sell to people so that they can mislead you. Would you like anybody, any woman or man putting on oils on their bodies to trap your son or daughter when your son and daughter does not like them? They don't like them. They don't want to be with them. Would you be happy about that? See, people, you don't think about the ramifications of what you're doing. All your, your gluttony, all you're full of is, is, is money and what you can get and how you can trick people. And a lot of people allow themselves to be fooled, to be carried away by these false teachings and these foolishness. Because again, they're on that vibration. And they want to lead with tricks. They want to lead with, with tricks. For a lot of you, you know, seeker, you're, you're, you have an inability to commit to a path once found. Like I said, a lot of you started out on, on a good foot. But you switch up. Your agenda change. And now you're working for the other team. And now what you're doing, you're engineering. You're coming up with ways how you can suppress and oppress the men of God. You're working with third parties to, to, to break the spirits of God people so that they can doubt God. Like, God, I'm doing your work. And why are these things happening to me? When you are the ones in the background like puppets pulling the strings. I'm telling you, you can fool some people, but you can't fool everybody all the time. And I know that if I see it, then imagine how much more my heavenly father, Abba, imagine how much he sees. Don't provoke people to, to sin. And then now when you get them caught up in a trap, you laugh and you smirk. What kind of healing? What kind of healer are you? Huh? You yourself is not even healed. Like I'm talking, yeah, shapeshifter. Projecting an image that serves your personal agendas in the moment. This is exactly who you are. Whatever the agenda, one minute you come out, oh, quoting scriptures, doing all kind of foolishness. And again, it's all because you don't know God. You don't have a relationship even with God. You talk about karma, but you don't believe that it even exists. You're not practicing what you're preaching or teaching to others. And you're guiding people on the wrong path. You place financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. It's about pushing out trash, pushing out garbage, keeping people stuck and stagnant, all so that you can benefit. I mean, I didn't even look at, I did, this is the first time I'm seeing these cards and it's like I already covered it. And thank you, Spirit, for backing up this message. You're a fake, you're a phony, you're leading people in the wrong direction. And you think it's only out there, oh, in, in, in the world, people are being called out. No, well, you are being called out too. Because you are detrimental to the health and the body of the kingdom of God. You place financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. And because people have itchy ears, they want immediate instant gratification. They don't want to know to heal and to do the work. And I know some of you will hear this and all, on, all of a sudden you start shifting up talking about healing to people. But see, because you're not authentic, you can't hold your ground. You can't hold your own. And this is why you try to come against people. Even those who are on the outside. I mean, this is like judgment. It's called on everybody who is oppressing the people of God. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You can continue to live in your own darkness and your own filth. But you will leave the men and women of God alone. You will leave me alone. Because I'm not the one, the two, or the 200. God does not play about me. 
I'm here on a different mission from you. This is your feeding tree. I'm not my own. I belong to Jesus. And I'm not afraid to speak his name, to call his name, whenever, wherever. Because I am not subjugated. I am not under any bondage or have to conform to any cult or coven. I'm not afraid. Because I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. And a lot of you, the things... Is like you think with the king card here is the sense of entitlement that you have. Excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. And this is why you think because you're getting away with things for so long that you can continue to do evil things to people. And this is what I'm saying. I don't care what you guys change, your appearance, your name, whatever. Send out a quote here and there about God and spirit. You, it, you're not genuine. And a lot of you, you think you're entitled to be here more than the men and women of God. Let me tell you, the works of the enemy or enemies, it's drying up. Don't you see around you? Everybody, every evil deeds and ways, it's exposed. Everybody. You are not exempt. You are not entitled. It's a privilege for all of us to be here. The men and women of God, they have gratitude. You guys think that this is your domain. You should be here. You have authority to be here. And this is why you try to block people. This is why you try to create setback and stagnancy. Because you only want to see you prosper. You only want to be the only ones to be on the up and up. Well, God forbid. God forbid. I'm telling you. God forbid. God forbid. It's not going to work. It's not going to continue. I can tell you this much. Because God is closing this cycle. This cycle on all of you false teachers, false prophets. False lovers, false friends, all of you, false family. God is closing this trickster cycle of you shape-shifting. Because for a lot of you, you're guiding people. See, money, this is like your side hustle. You're treating God business like a side hustle. You don't take it serious. With the seeker and the guide. This is why you're leading people in darkness. Only so you can gain. Spitting out a whole leap of video, but it's all on the same toxic foolishness. How do people heal? How do they feel when they come to you for help? What's your purpose? What is your purpose? Just a money machine. That's all it is. See, legal. Legal. So for a lot of you, and with the scale, I'm telling you, justice. This is karmic justice for a lot of you who are making up things, engineering, you're manufacturing lies, coming up with all kind of iniquity deeds to work against the men and women of God because you think you are entitled. You think that you should be here. And so you do what you're doing without restraints because why? You have the backings of who? Because I don't see anybody on earth who is more powerful than God. And the men and women are backed by the Holy Spirit. We don't just say it, but we live it. That's the difference between us and you. That's the difference. You are not a divine masculine. You are not a divine feminine for a lot of you. And this is what you're trying to project to people. But you are false. You are toxic. You cannot produce. You are barren. You are evil. This is who you are. That's all you're doing. You're misleading people. 
you're shapeshifters. You want people to think you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. No, you're not. You are not. And you know who you are. You know who you are. You are not. You're a servant of the devil. That's who you are. That is who you are. And you need to stop playing with God. Because God is done playing with you. He's closing up cycles. He's wrapping it up. Because you guys, you, you think that he's playing. And he wants you to know he's finished. He's finished playing. He's finished. Say so secluded. He's done. He's done playing. A lot of you, you don't have self-love. All you do is teach people about the same heartbreak and foolishness over and over and over. I'm telling you, God is not happy with your work and what you're doing and the way you're oppressing his people, his children, watching them suffer, going through hard times, helping people to oppress and suppress them as a way for you to get back your revenge for some of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I certainly hope that every day, every night, you look at your own family. You look at yourself. You will see the hurt and the pain that you're causing and creating in other people because you're stuck in this eight of swords. You are stuck. You are imprisoned. I'm telling you, God is finished. Do you see the eyes? God is done with you. God is done. God is finished with you all. I'm telling you. He, <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Oh, thank you. God is done with you. 